excellencies, health ministers from many countries across the world, distinguished delegates from West Asia, SARC, ASEAN, and the African regions, I extend a warm welcome to India. My cabinet colleagues and representatives of the Indian healthcare industry, Namaskar. Friends, an Indian scripture says, Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha, Sarve Santu Niramaya, Sarve Bhadrani Pashantu, Ma Kasti Duk Bhag Bhavet. It means, May everyone be happy. May everyone be free of disease. May good things happen to everyone. And may no one suffer from sadness. This is an inclusive vision. Even thousands of years ago, when there were no global pandemics, India's vision for health was universal. Today, when we say one earth, one health, it is the same thought in action. Further, our vision is not restricted to just humans. It extends to our whole ecosystem from plants to animals, from soil to rivers. When everything around us is healthy, we can be healthy. Friends, it is a popular notion that lack of illness is the same as good health. However, India's view of health does not stop at lack of illness. Being free of disease is just a stage on the way to wellness. Our goal is wellness and welfare for everyone. Our goal is physical, mental and social well-being. Friends, India started the journey of a G20 presidency with the theme of one earth, one family, one future. We realize the importance of resilient global healthcare systems in fulfilling this vision. India sees medical value travel and health workforce mobility as important for a healthy planet. One Earth, One Health, Advantage Healthcare India 2023 is an important effort in this direction. This gathering resonates with India's G20 presidency theme. Hundreds of participants from many countries are here. It is great to have stakeholders from public and private sectors, from professionals and academic domains. This is symbolic of the Indian philosophy of Vasudhev Kutum Kam, which means the world is one family. Friend, when it comes to holistic health care, India has many important strengths. We have talent, we have technology, we have tech record, we have tradition. Friends, when it comes to talent, the world has seen the impact of Indian doctors. Both in India and outside, our doctors are widely respected for their competence and commitment. Similarly, nurses and other caregivers from India are also well known. 
there are many healthcare systems across the world which benefit from the talent of Indian professionals. India has tremendous diversity in culture, climate, and social dynamics. Healthcare professionals trained in India are exposed to diverse experiences. This helps them develop skills that can meet the needs of different situations. This is why Indian healthcare talent has won the world's trust. Friends, the once in a century pandemic reminded the world of a number of truths. It showed us that in a deeply connected world, borders cannot stop threat to health. At a time of crisis, the world also saw how countries in the global south had to face difficulties and even denial of resources. True progress is a people-centric. No matter how many advances are made in medical science, Access must be assured to the last person at the last mile. It was at such a time that many nations realized the importance of a trusted partner in the healthcare domain. India is proud to have been a partner to many nations in the noble mission of saving lives through vaccines and medicines. Made in India vaccines were developed by our vibrant science and technology sector. We became home to the largest and fastest COVID-19 vaccination drive in the world. We also shipped 300 million doses of COVID-19 vaccine to over 100 countries. This showed both our capability and commitment. We will continue to be a trusted friend to every nation that seeks good health for its citizens. Friends, for thousands of years, India's outlook towards health has been holistic. We have a great tradition of preventive and promotive health. Systems such as yoga and meditation have now become global movements. They are ancient India's gifts to the modern world. Similarly, our Ayurveda system is a complete discipline of wellness. It takes care of the physical and mental aspects of health. The world is looking for solutions to stress and lifestyle disease. India's traditional healthcare systems hold a lot of answers. Our traditional diet, which consists of millets, can also help with food security and nutrition. Friends, apart from talent, technology, track record, and tradition, India has a healthcare system that is affordable and accessible. This can be seen in our efforts at home. India has the world's largest government-funded healthcare insurance coverage scheme. The Aishman Bharat Initiative covers over 500 million people with free medical treatments. Over 40 million people have already availed services in a cashless and paperless manner. This has saved nearly $7 billion 
for our citizens already. Friends, the global response to healthcare challenges cannot be isolated. It is time for an integrated, inclusive, and institutional response. This is one of our focus areas during our G20 presidency. Our goal is to make healthcare accessible and affordable, not only for our citizens, but for the whole world. Reducing disparity in India's priority Serving the unserved is an article of faith for us. I am positive that this gathering will strengthen global partnership in this direction. We seek your partnership on our common agenda of One Earth, One Health. With these words, I would like to welcome you all and look forward to great deliberations. Thank you. Thank you very much.